Hey there flippers and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to be moving. So I am in the process of sort of getting everything packed up, ready to sort of move to a new house. And the new house is going to be absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to have sort of a, a bigger room to sort of base my gaming and sort of resale business out of. Um, but there is also a place at the new house that eventually will become sort of dedicated to Second Life Treasures. So what we're going to do, I have got my shelving unit here. So it's all filled up. This is all stuff that is active uh, on eBay or Facebook at the moment. I think there's one or two bits that um, aren't yet. So I don't think sort of Orville, Orville is on eBay yet. So I'm gonna get these packed up now. And what I will do is I will catch up with you when we've got everything moved into the new house. And yeah, I will show you about and give you a bit of an idea on how things are gonna look. So I will see you in just a minute. So here we are, the resale room is now clear this was my office for eight years and yet yeah, really gutted to be leaving this house um, but it is what it is so we are moving on to sort of bigger and better things so what we'll do is we will have a look now at my new setup so sort of, i've got everything sort of in place in the new house and we'll, we'll have a look at what's going on there so here we are, we are all moved in now and yeah, pretty much set up. So here is my shelving unit. So I've got a couple of boxes um, up the top. Uh, I think these are a couple of sort of empty boxes that are waiting to have stuff put in. Uh, the eBay boxes are all sort of packaged up, ready to go items. Um, and then I've got them sort of listed in my spreadsheet as to what's in what box. Um, and I'm still yet to sort of label up the shelves. So this shelf is gonna be sort of the A shelf, and then you'll see sort of on each of the boxes, um, I have got them numbered. So I know exactly sort of what's in sort of each box. Then the second shelf down, we've got all of my sort of bubble mailers. So this has got, as you'll see there, it's already packaged up with, I'm not sure what DVD this was. Let's have a look if I can get it out. <laughs> Not easy to get these out. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for the back one. And as you'll see there, it is the Designated Survivor DVD. So as I say, that is all packaged up, ready to go. So what I'll do is when the order comes through, I will literally just sort of pick it out. As you'll see, these are all numbered as well. And then the box is labelled B. So I've got 002003, and then when I go to the back, if the light's not shining on it, so you see 001-L, so I know that these are in the large envelopes. And then I've got my spare envelopes up the back, my smaller ones up the front, and my thank you cards. So I don't know if I've shown these yet, actually. So these are what I put in every single package that gets sent out. So it's just a little thank you card and just sort of prompting people to um, leave feedback. Then we've got, so I've got an empty box here. This is where some more stuff is gonna go in. Um, and then, so the way I'm setting it out is I've got one small box and then one big box on each shelf. And then the shelf down the bottom here, these are the items that were in Tuesday's video. So that's the Samsung DVD player. Um, sorry, the Samsung Blu-ray player and surround sound system. And I did say in the video that I hadn't tested it properly. I uh, tried to power it on and it didn't work. I have since put a new fuse in it and it powered up, played the DVD, it works perfectly. So we will get uh, £30 for that. So that is really good. And then yeah, they're the items from, uh, the other items from that, that uh, boot fair hunt. So I am gonna get another couple of boxes sort of these sort of size to go sort of here and down here. And then we'll go across my desk because it's very, very messy. I have actually now got a proper area 
that's all set up. This is permanently in place. Uh, normally I do have my lights set up around, but because I am, there is still some boxes in that in here to sort. Um, I haven't got them set up, but yeah, this is gonna be a permanent area for me to sort of film my outros and to do all my photography. And then underneath, I've got these two absolutely massive boxes that are full of stuff. Um, now this, there are a couple of bits in these boxes that are not sort of for resale. They have just been put in, but most of it is for sort of resale. Um, and these I am actually gonna be sorting through and putting them in the shelves. But um, yeah, they were, they sort of fit the purpose while we were moving. But there is a, a lot of stuff in there from before we done the move that we picked up at the boot fair. And then these are actually the vinyl mailers that I picked up. So I had a bit of grief getting them, but they got here eventually. So that is basically my setup now um, in the new house. And what you'll see on the top here, I've got actually quite a few bits that I've sort of put out. These are a few of the things that I found when we were clearing out the loft and the garage in the old house. Um, that I am going to be listing for sale um, because some of them actually really surprised me and what their values are. So the first one we've got is this um, 2007 Elmo Live. Now this is a, a talking um, Elmo and you'll see there it also comes with a stool um, and it basically sits up, stands, uh, stands up and sits down um, and sort of tells kids stories. Uh, my little one absolutely loved Elmo when they were younger so yeah, we've got this one. There is actually another one kicking around somewhere, but I think that's in one of the bags full of stuffed toys that are now in the loft. Um, but looking online for this one, um, in this condition, it's selling for about 35 pounds. Um, I will admit I've got my, so I've just moved back here. So this is my computer screen. And this is pretty much the sort of file that I make up for every boot fair or charity shop hunt. So you'll have the items listed here. You'll then have a column with the purchase price, then the sale price, and then the profit. And that's, uh, the profit is all calculated from a spreadsheet that I've got that um, will basically calculate the shipping, um, the shipping fees, the, post, uh, the packaging costs, and the eBay fees. And then that will give me a rough price, uh, a rough profit um, after sort of, so it, take, it basically takes off the purchase price, uh, the shipping price, the, sh uh, the packaging costs, and the eBay fees. And then I basically can sort of look at sort of what it's selling for, put that in, and then it will tell me the profit. And that's basically how I fill out. So normally what I do is I have this, this document on my phone and it's mounted to the top of this camera. So I'm sort of reading off that as I'm sort of doing everything. So I'm gonna be referring to that as we go through all this. Um, so yeah, as I say, the Elmo sells for about 35 pounds. So we sh should be, obviously we've not, I've not got purchase price for any of this stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna, actually I'm not gonna go into profit on this bit. Um, just because I'll be honest, I haven't worked it out yet. <laughs> so, uh, the next ones we've got, and this one was actually a real surprise. So I actually found a 2011 map, paper map from Chesington. Now it's in perfect condition. There's no folds, no creases, no nothing in it. Um, and when I looked online, these were actually selling for about 10 pound. So I knew that there was sort of a market for sort of old, theme park maps but didn't realize that there was they were actually sort of sell on ebay so yeah i'm probably going to list that i'll list it for 10 pounds and then if it sells it sells um obviously originally it didn't cost me anything so yeah if you have got any old park maps theme park maps kicking around sort of any of the uk ones or even overseas sort of like I, i'm pretty sure that sort of like disney and universal ones sell really well as well so yeah definitely worth a look then next up we've got a couple of promotional items so the first one is a google uh, pin badge uh, this was promoting the google chromebook and once again got it for nothing but looking online it's selling for about 15 pounds so i'm going to list it once again if it sells it sells 
And then we've got a promotional, so this is a, a patch that you can sort of sew on. And then it's also a, a promotional book on the Volkswagen Up. So I think we've probably got that when we've gone to sort of do it. I think we've done a, a test drive when I was looking for my partner one time, uh, but we didn't end up buying it for her. Uh, so yeah, and looking online at that one, I'm uh, just looking over, that is selling for about £10. So yeah, another one that's worthwhile. Then next up, we've got some Virgin Mobile shot glasses. So I got these, these are a sort of promotional item that we were given when I used to work in a mobile phone shop when I was a lot younger. And these have just been sort of put in the loft, just sort of sealed up, put in the loft and forgotten about. So um, having a look online, um, I can't see anything like it. Um, there's absolutely nothing like this online. So I'm gonna list it initially. I've got all three down. Um, I think on my document, I've got, yeah, I've got them down for 20 pounds. But I'm probably going to experiment a bit on that one because as I say, there's no sold comps and I can't see anything like it online. So we'll see how much they go for. Then next up, we've got this. So this is a Bluetooth adapter for an Epson printer. Um, now the idea was, was before sort of the printer had the built-in Wi-Fi, you would have to get, an, uh, the, sorry, the built-in Bluetooth to send pictures directly from your phone. You'd have to plug in an adapter. So I got this for an old Epson printer that I used to have. And yeah, when I got rid of the printer, I kind of just forgot about the dongle. But I thought when I found it, when I was clearing out the loft, I thought I'd have look it up. And it sells for anything between 50 and 75 pounds. So yeah, I was absolutely floored. So I'm gonna probably list it for about 50. Um, and see how it goes. Once again, I think it's gonna be another thing that will, if it sells, it sells, or it might just sit there for a while. It's so small, um, it's not really gonna have an impact. Then, next up, I was going through the garage and I found this. So it's a Dinon, I think that's how you spell it, uh, say you pronounce it. So Dinon uh, DVD 900, uh, so it's an old DVD player. Um, but looking online, it sells for about £60 without remote. So I haven't got the remote for this one. So I've tested it, it all works. Um, I literally tested it just before this video actually. And yeah, so I was really amazed by that. I think this one was actually a DVD that I got when I used to do IT recycling. And yeah, it just never sort of, I never got around to actually selling it. So it just got put in the garage and sort of forgotten about. So yeah, that will be going online, sort of quite sharpish. Then we've got the this colouring mug. So this is a Sesame Street colouring mug, and basically what you do, um, uh, see if I can get it out one-handed. So you've got basically paper inserts within the cup and you basically just sort of pull them out, colour them in and then basically you screw the cup back together and it's, uh, yeah, you basically sort of colour it in yourself. Um, it's brand new, it's never been used and looking online, uh, where is it? I know I've looked that one up. There you go, Sesame Street colouring mug. That sells for about 15 pounds, that one, in that condition. And I have seen a sort of a couple of, a couple sell recently as well. So yeah, really chuffed with that. Then the next one. Now this one was a real big surprise for me. So this is actually an old BT multimeter. So this is used for sort of testing sort of voltages and sort of current and things like that. Um, now it actually says PO on here. That is because BT was actually run by the post office at one point. And it just shows you how old this one is. So it's, um, I don't know the actual date, it dates on it, but looking online, I'm seeing sort of sold comps for this of about 50 pounds. Um, it all works, it's all fully working. 
and yeah it is an absolute literally i think it was my um it was my dad's and it just sort of ended up sort of getting passed about so yeah i'm probably going to sort of get that listed 50 pounds i think is um a really good sort of well it'd be a really good sale if we can get 50 pounds for that then so we've got a couple more bits left as i say i have got loads more but if i was to do that this video would just go on and on so i've just picked sort of a couple of the sort of the best bits we've got a headrest from a mini cooper uh, we've actually got a set of two these are the rear headrests and these sell for about 15 pounds each we've then got an old polaroid polaroid spirit uh, 600 cl instant camera and looking online i think this one was selling for about 25 pounds so yeah i'm going to get that one listed and then finally we've got two furbies um, these are both sort of newer versions of the furbies so they've got sort of led um, eyes obviously this one comes with the mask as well uh, which is removable and yeah i think this one is about a 30 pound sale and this one's 20. i think the the rainbow ones do sell really well but uh yeah so yeah really amazed so there's some really really good items to sell obviously i've got a load more stuff but as i say it, it, the video would just go on for sort of far too long if i was sort of to list them all so that is going to be the end of today's video um thank you so so much for joining me today i really hope you enjoyed this video give you a bit of an insight into sort of the moving process that i've had and yeah with that said sort of thank you for watching really hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you on next one. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already just want to say a massive massive thank you to everyone that has already subscribed uh, this week we did actually surpass the 100 subscribers so i just want to say a massive massive thank you to everyone um, i was absolutely overwhelmed with how quick we've hit 100 subscribers so yeah uh, from the bottom of my heart a massive massive thank you to everyone for sort of really helping me sort of build the channel and yeah hopefully you enjoy the content and i will see you on the next one all right bye